to say I think it's women. Um, I you know, you might find that a difficult, a, an interesting answer, but but I have thought about all of this, and I remember uh, a statement by the famous, uh, the, the very rich Greek shipping magnate called Onassis, who married uh, he married Kennedy's. Uh, you know, President Kennedy? Well, President Kennedy's wife married this chap, uh, Aristotle Onassis, who was a billion trillionaire guy, you know. And he once said, all of the money in the world would be worthless if we didn't have women to spend it on. Yeah? So, in, in my opinion, there has been a problem ever since the, uh, the takeover of, the, the, of, of world philosophy and religions and culture by the one God by monotheism and prior to that we had goddesses and at the time of the goddesses I think people were kind of okay you know we didn't have all these problems <laughs> but as soon as we got the one God we had the suppression of women and we had the competition for women uh, by men uh, and the competition to have power over women because men are all insecure when it comes to women Women, men are terribly insecure, and so they deal with that by suppressing the women and to making themselves more powerful. And as soon as they do that, they're in competition with other men. And what happens then is you have all of these wars and battles and fights, and you have all of these religions uh, uh, and developments uh, uh, involving um, priests who are celibate, you know, who, who, who don't have anything to do with women in here. So there's this kind of split between the, the way in which you really are as an animal and the way in which you think you are as some sort of uh, important rational human being. And that, and that feeds through in some curious way to nuclear scientists. Because nuclear scientists are the most uptight men that I've ever come across in my whole life. They don't play music, they don't have fun, they don't dance and sing and so on. They're just serious, serious zombies. So that's what I. Th so that's the answer. It might not be what you were expecting, but other people have said the same thing as well. Other people have had the same analysis. And and of course the problem is that uh, that democracy is a f it fails. Democracy is no good because of this problem of personality. So you get all these different types of people. You have nice laid back people. You have people who don't really want to sort of strive and do and and, and take over the world. You have people who are quite happy with women, are comfortable with them, and so on. And you have other people who are really uptight. And the problem is that it's the uptight people who are who 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 drive history because they're the ones who want to, they're the ones who need to, they're the ones who have to justify themselves all the time. And you've only got to look at the leaders. Just look at them. Look at Tony Blair. Look at George W. Bush. Just look at them, and you'll see the sort of personality people who should never be allowed to be put in power in a million years. So we have to find a way of keeping these male personality people and some women too have this male personality now so i'm not i'm not trying to say that it's all men and it's all women it's a particular culture associated with like mono, monotheistic oppression uh, by insecure individuals and and we have to find a political system that prevents that from happening and there is one there is one i'm working on it <laughs> I really like the answer, but you can't use it in any... Yeah. No, no, because that, <laughs> of course I can't really use it. That's like epicenter of similar people, isn't it, really? <laughs> so, so you believe that the future will be dark? I do, yeah. I think the future is terrible. I, I, but, I, but, 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 you know, the problem is this, that... Not the problem. The, the way in which this will work out is the environment will take over. You know, it's it's an ecological thing. So so in other words, whatever whatever bad guys do, what will happen is that that there will be some terrible disaster. Nature will nature will come back and squash them. And then, but then maybe we'll maybe it'll get worse. Then you see, maybe it'll get worse. You see, I, I was reading a book. This book I was telling you about Andre Gortz in 1980, he wrote this this book called Farewell to the Working Class, in which he drew attention to the fact that we actually don't need to work. We don't need to work. That, that all, of the, all of what we need, as a result of science, we have created a system where scientifically we can free everybody from the need to work all the time. And everybody can have a, a wage, because it seems to me rational to say that if you're born onto this planet, then you own, in some sense, some proportion of the planet. You know, in, in, uh, and, and the chicken owns some proportion, and the potato owns a proportion, and the elephant, and all of these creatures. We all share this planet in some way. And so if that's the case, we ought to have a wage. We, ought, we, don't, we shouldn't have to work 
to survive in in the sense that we work for somebody else we have to work to survive in the sense that we have to, to, to you know to, to produce food for ourselves and all the rest of it but as a result of the scientific revolution that's become very easy to do you can have a machine that goes and and and, and plants things automatically and then harvest them automatically and only one person needs to run it so the rest of the people they what do they do well the problem is that what they do now is they is they teach each other nonsense that's how it's become so what you do now is you is you have half of the world is professors and the other half are students and then the students and and what the professors do is they sell the students a piece of paper that says professor you see and they have to work like shit for about 10 years to get this piece of paper and then they become a professor, then they sell the same shit on to another generation of people. And it is all shit. I mean, it's just all bloody nonsense, most of it. I mean, I, you know, and it's not even very... I mean, I know there is a lot of very good knowledge out there, but it's not being what's taught, because the, because the students have now become consumers. So the students aren't students anymore. Well, they, they're not interested in actually learning anything. What they have to do is jump through lots and lots of hoops in some kind of liberal arts situation where they do one module on quantum mechanics, one module on, on, on horseshoes, one molecule on folk dancing. You know, and you know, they can choose any bloody thing they like. And so long as they jump through the hoops on each one of these, at the end of the day, they'll get a piece of paper. And, they, and, and to do this, they have to pay some vast amount of money, which they then have to work their whole life away in order to repay, see? So, so the people who run the show have got everyone tied up in this ridiculous nonsense. It's desperate. So what we have to do is have to change that, you know? We have to change it, otherwise we're all, we're all fucked. I mean, I, I don't, I, I've never done very much, to be honest. I've tried to avoid work as much as possible. But very few people can get away with that. You know, you have to be slightly, slightly kind of, I mean, criminal, dare I say. You're sort of like on the edge of, on the edge of it all, you know, you have to sort of jump in and out of the system. But nowadays it's awful. These children, they just want to sort of work so they can get a job, so they can then, you know, do some useless thing. And, and I mean, I met this guy on the train the other day, a young student from Lancaster. And I was just talking to him. And... Uh, it turned out he he was really really happy because he'd managed to get a job working for some automotive parts company. He was doing a degree in engineering and he was really excited about this. And I said, well, "Shit, you know what? What is this? I mean, why not why why not go and play the fiddle or or, or make love to some beautiful woman or get pissed on the beach with a bottle? I mean, people don't think about that stuff anymore. You know what they think about now is getting a job. It's terrible." There are lots of such, such important, interesting things you can do. This guy's freaking out because he's thinking about his train.